a tips, hints, achievements guide for zombie army. You can't harm me. Who do you voodoo? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Zombie Army Dead War 4 uh, by Developers Rebellion. Now, there is actually a pretty cool nifty way to level up to 100 really, really quick. Although, um, if you have the disc and you can play offline or you can use the disc without the updates, uh, there was a way to get more XP before the update actually arrived, which was before day one. Um, I believe it was like quite a bit of uh, XP. But anyhow, let's walk into like how to do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already covered it before. I, I was doing it with some buddies. Uh, maybe some other people might have it up already. But this is the method that I used with my brother, my, my friends, in order to get it done. Uh, you definitely, if it, it might take a while to level up this way, so keep that in mind. But if you keep at it for hours and hours, you'll be able to get it done pretty quickly. Um, it it really does beat like the grind to go from level to level to level to level um, over the course of like hours and beating the game multiple times in order to get everything because by the end of the, the game after you have all the collectibles after you find all the stuff you're still going to be maybe roughly at level 60, 70, 80 um, and that's with a lot of online heavy play with uh, people that are helping you and uh, Horde Horde only goes so far. Obviously, you want to get that gold medal, but if you don't want to put in the work and the time, this is the laziest way I can think of. So, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to set it to Into the Darkness. Uh, the first map is actually the best map, hands down. Um, not saying that all the rest of the maps aren't pretty cool. They're really, really cool. I haven't tried the newest one. I really need to try that out. That'll probably be on a separate stream. But Into the Darkness, uh, I feel like, has a lot of leeway when it comes to dodging the enemies. There's only, like, one side of the map and the other side of the map. And you could run back and forth in between those sides of the map so that you can get away from enemies very, very easily. So, it's definitely one of the best maps, in my opinion. Um, you're going to want to set it to hard difficulty and set it up to four players. Uh, this is going to be really, really quick. You, you honestly don't even need to beat the level in order to do it. Uh, the perks, I would say you want to go with the combo extension if you have it. Uh, combo boost, which will start you with the times three uh, combo. And if you have them at a higher level, then cool. You know, that helps you even more. And then um, the overkill, uh, which is two kills less. Uh, you want to make sure you have the stamina enhanced three on. Or whatever stamina that you got um, the takedown frequency the, the fourth skill doesn't really matter um, you're not gonna be using your gun or anything like that you just need to like have something that'll keep you alive long enough to finish the level and get the 5,000 points um, but yeah that's 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 the whole setup we're gonna start it up here Uh, huge shout out to Evolve Terminal for the guide stream and review opportunity that's coming. I had already finished the game a long time ago, but you know, I, I really enjoy this game. Uh, the game has a lot of potential, and I think that it's going to be really cool when they have all the upgrades coming out. Alright, so first things first run to the other end of the map as quickly as possible. You're going to want to wait for them to start coming over. Uh, if you happen to be able to get all of them before they hit the floor, the best bet is to stomp on them. You're going to want to stomp on all of the zombies. Try and not let any get up. Because the minute you let them get up, that's kind of it. So... Right there, I kind of screwed up, but we're going to see how many points I got. 
this is kind of giving you a rough draft. So I already got 2,000 points, and I, I screwed up really bad right there. So you want to retry every single time. If you die. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder with one person. This I would highly recommend you you have some buddies come in and grind out the XP with you. So this way you have less chance of the enemies getting up. Because you got to be real quick on stomping all the zombies by yourself. And it's set up to four players. So there's going to be quite a few of them. But this is the best way to get 5,000. Right there I, I, I showed you that you can still mess up and still get the points. So you don't have to worry. But you want to aim for that first medal. And like I said, if you have a disc, you don't have to worry even more. So we completed it, 9,000 points, 28 combo. Uh, on this part, all you want to do is basically die now. You just die and you keep repeating the process over and over again. Uh, hit that, hit that 5,000, see you got the first medal right there. And that's the best way to kind of like just grind out the XP. It's going to take quite a few tries now. But like I said, it, it, it's just it's it seems like it's a little bit quicker than just doing it level to level to level. You're still going to have to grind out those kills and everything. It just depends on how you want to do it. It's a little bit more tedious, but this is the best method that I found that got me to 100 before. Before I had to worry about it. It could take up to quite a few hours just to like level up. I've already leveled up to 100, so I don't have to worry too much about it. But for anybody new on the game that's still grinding out that grind, this is the best method I can I can think of. It worked for me then, and it, it should work for you now. And like I said, with more people in the game, it should be easier. And if you have to, like I like I said, just kind of like kill them if you have to for the first wave. I've already got the I've already got the achievement or the um, the score for it, so it shouldn't really matter. Uh, usually, you just want to kind of like die off and let it score you out. So long as you get that first medal, it doesn't even matter. You might not you might not even have to finish the wave. That's the cool thing about it. Right now it only gives 500 XP, but I believe uh, it used to give quite a bit more. I think it was like more like 10,000 plus. And just keep restarting. Anyhow, uh, I might have a couple more guides coming uh, for some of the more obscure little hands that I, I thought were like kind of a pain towards the end of the game. I couldn't find them for anything on some of the levels, so I'll probably be doing something like that. And I'll be... Uh, messing around with the new horde map legitimately uh, but yeah that that about wraps it up you know hopefully that helps you get quite a bit more xp right now i've already prestige so you know it's a little bit less for me i don't know exactly uh, how much it's taking up the bars for uh, prior prestige uh, so hopefully that helps you out just a little tiny bit uh, I know the grind is rough, but hang in there, you'll get it. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. That was Zombie Army Dead War, and that is to that was a tip since achievements guide for getting to level 100 as quickly as possible. Uh, once again, hopefully, it really does help you guys out. 
if you like the guide please uh please share it with somebody else who's having issues with the game you know grab some buddies etc you know grind it out together it'll help the, the time pass a little bit more um but yeah once again hopefully you if you like the guide you know please like share comment uh let me know uh what you thought about the method that i have currently or uh drop me a line or two let me know what you think about the game uh but yeah hopefully you guys all figure it out once again thank you all for watching and happy gaming everyone